Well, let's carry on with some of the requests. And um, uh, one of the requests that I've got now is Theo. Theo is asking about Durban Rode Kurti. Now, there's an interesting story. I know a chap in, actually, in actual fact, he come and stayed over here a few weeks ago when him and his wife were on his way to the Cape. And he came to stay in our little guest house that my wife is running. And we petted and had a braai. And then he said to me, you know what, Franz, I always invest only in one share. And I said, really, just tell me about it. And he said to me, can I maybe show you my chart? And I said, yes, of course, I would like to, to, to see. And he said, but I want to teach me something when to buy and when to sell. He says, because I'm using a simple method, but I like this method. He says, I wait for the share. And I'm going to mention the name now, Durban Rode Purdue. I wait for the share to get to a certain point here. Yeah. And he says, listen, that's my horizontal line that I'm using. Okay, just have a look here. He says, every time that Durban Rode for Deeps get to around 3 Rand 60, all right. He says, then it offers some value for me. He said, I started to do this many years ago. And every time when the share gets there, I will just hold on to the share and then I take 25 or 30. He said sometimes he took 35%. He said, but usually 25% and then he will just walk. Well, what happened? He said in 2007, and there's, that's where he started with it. In 2007, he bought it around 366. Now, just look at this. From 366 to 951, beautiful rally. Okay. Then on the other hand, back to 376, beautiful rally to 873. Then back to that level of 347, let's call it 366, waited a few years and it got out at 756. Then he said it went actually below his level of 366, 4 rand. Look at that. Is your place there. It went below that. And of course, he, he tells me he doesn't take a, a stop loss because he's a long term investor. Okay. I don't hear a lot about long term investors with gold companies. He says it works for him. So there's nothing wrong with that. He said he bought it, and what happened from 372, it went to 12 rand. He said, but he sold out way too early. And that's what he wanted to know from me, when to sell except from waiting for 25%. And my big thing was with him, I said to him, just tell me if you are happy with your 25%. And he said, yes, I am happy with a 25% profit. And then I said to him, the biggest job that I've got in the office is always to ask somebody, if you are happy with your profit. And if the guy say, yes, I'm happy, I just say to him, sell it. So, but he asked me, but just show me. And I used this one from 2009. He bought it at 350. He said he sold it about 450. So he was more than happy with his profit of about 20%. He said, but then the share went from, let's say, 6 rand all the way up to 26 rand. And I said, you know what these gold shares like to do? Gold shares like to do lamp pull formation. So they start off slowly and then suddenly you get these spikes. I said, now if you want to use this as an example, if you see a lamp pull formation and it runs way above your 25%, then you must just take your money and go and if you are happy, you just walk away. Now, the next thing he said to me, now can you maybe just help me now? I want to buy the share again. And I said to him, well, if you use this formula, of a nice horizontal support line, and you want to wait for the share, where do we see another nice spot where it can find support? And he did not know. And I teach him this. I said to him, well, there you are. There's the next support line. There you are. You can see it. And that support line is sitting at 12 Rand 50. But then I said to him, well, if you use 12 Rand 15 again, and it rallies from 12 15, 1537 that gives you a nice profit maybe you must just be careful because it can maybe go all the way back to this 366 level of his, his old favorite I said well if you buy it then at this level let's say of 12 run you must make use of a stop loss and where was my stop loss my stop loss was there you are was at 11 rand 15 so if you buy it at 12 rand you must use a stop loss of 11 15 but I just wanted to tell you guys if you've got a method, it doesn't matter which method you use. And that method works for you. Stick to it. For all my traders that I'm trading, uh, what, I'm, what I'm learning over the years, how to, uh, to trade, 
I always tell them one thing. If you've got a formula and that formula works, don't go and read a million books. Don't go and visit people and listen to seminars. Stick to your level. If you look at all the top fundamentalists, if you look at people that know what they're doing, they will always say something to you. They will say, if you've got a method of, say, value investing, or it doesn't matter which way you use price to earnings ratio, or it doesn't matter what you use, or you use top um, uh, directors or good models, just stick to that. And that's what I want to say to you guys tonight. If you like a company, if you like a share, if you like a specific pattern or a different type of candle, stick to that. So let's carry on. But this was a nice training session for tonight. Well, let's go to Lewis. And um, uh, who asked about, oh, Frida is asking about Lewis Group. And um, um, let's have a look here. Now, now, Frida, look at this company. I mean, from 2020, and I can see that you are nervous on this chart. From 2020, this chart rallied from 1242, can you believe that, to well above 48. But what do we see now? We see two things. We see a possible double top, and that double top was in 2018. And it tried to, it went as high as the 47.75. The other day it went above that to about 50.76, and now it's putting, and it's now 45.98. So what will I do? I will say my first to worry about the share will be this little line. Why? Because in the past, the share did exactly the same. The share reached a high, it came back, it shot above that, and then it failed to carry on, and it lost momentum. So what's happening here? Let's see. It rallied to the top of this line. Everybody was happy. It came back, it shot above that, now it's above that line. So for me, it's quite simple. I say to myself, okay, while the share is above 44 Rand and 53 cents, I will stick to the company and I'll be happy. I will say, yes, I'm happy. The momentum is up. The trend is up. Why? Because if you look at this chart here, if you look at this line there, there you are. And you can see the trend is still up. But where will this chart worry? Sorry, I just want to draw in that line there. There. Okay. That is breaking that line, but for me, that will be my crucial line. If that support line turns into a resistance, I will say I will have a 10 break, and I will definitely not buy the share now. I mean a rally from 12 Rand all the way up to 48 Rand in a matter of two and a half years is a phenomenal rally. So, so Frida, for me personally, I will not buy it. In actual fact, I will wait for a place to take profit. And you know, you've seen now, it's this this line just above this 44 round level, 44.53. So I think the share treated you well. So I will not buy it now at the moment. Unless you're a momentum trader, then buy it on a new high, 50.76. Stick to that stop loss of 44.50. Let's have a look at the Fushini group. is asking about the Fushini group, but she said to me, can you maybe just show me the candles? Now, let's see if the candles hold something that she, oh, yes, well, there you are, there you are, there you are, there you are. Remember, this is also a, a, a top retail company. It does well in South Africa, um, and a lot of people like to buy the company. What do I see here, okay? Um, and that's the moment you see a beautiful rally on the stock. Look what you see here. From... 116 Rand in a matter of three, four weeks, it goes all the way up to 170 Rand. It's a lamp pole formation. But what is the share teaching us here? The share is telling us every time that you see these beautiful rallies, you get a candle with a long upper shadow pointing out to the top. Now, that is usually a warning signal. Now, look what happened here. It sold off, it found a base, but what is it doing now? It's rallying up and what do we see i just want to zoom it out there there's the first sign something is happening there's a shadow upper shadow telling us that it's a strong move and somebody's selling there so for me i will say i'll wait for this little line there you are and i've said it on the show many a time for me 
chairs are not chairs. They are actors playing in a movie. And they're teaching us the same thing all over again. And you remember the guy that is just buying Durban Road of Gurdip and he's happy with that? Why? Because he knows that actor. Now the same thing here. If you look at this possible tweezer that he's developing, look at that candle there, gravestone little doji, and then you see this also a beautiful belt old line candle, but with that upper shadow is warning you. And where will this worries me? It worries me below 143.90. So, okay, if it drops below 143.90, maybe we're sitting in the same scenario we've seen here. And I want to draw in that line there for you, so I can just show you here. Same thing here, almost the same kind of pattern. Maybe it's early days on this side, but look at it. For a few weeks, it struggled. When it broke that line there, and that line was 150.98, we saw the sold off. Now, this is exactly what can happen here. Share maybe work for a few weeks here. The moment it breaks below this little line there, and there, that line is sitting at 143.90, you can easily see maybe a sell off to the downside. So, okay, use that. Um, if you, you use candles because you asked about candles, look after. A beautiful rally, you'll probably find a candle on, on, on Fushini that tells you that it can that it's running out of steam and somebody is selling it into strength, and that's maybe time for you to lock in some profit or tell yourself not to buy even more shares because that happens in the past, it can maybe happen again. And just keep in mind the share had share had a beautiful rally from 48 Rand to 180 Rand in a matter of two and a half years. Beautiful. Well, visit our website www.franceclair.com for more info and we'll chat again.